The S100 specification's primary goal is to support a greater range of hydrographic data sources, products, and customers. As such, it allows for many new capabilities regarding the encoding of navigationally significant features. A new simple attribute type, Boolean, has been introduced, allowing users to set an attribute to either true or false. This new attribute type is a logical replacement for certain S57 enumerated list attributes, including the S57 attribute CONRAD, or Radar Conspicuous. In the S57 standard, the user would set a list value to either Radar Conspicuous or Not Radar Conspicuous. In the S101 standard, users instead would set the Radar Conspicuous attribute to either True or False. Certain attributes are now complex attributes, which contain their own simple or complex sub-attributes. Both attributes and sub-attributes can now have multiplicity. These new features and attribute types are not independent. A feature or attribute can have multiplicity while being complex. An example of this can be seen with the light sectored feature. While the S57 standard required for the creation of each individual sector as its own feature, in S101, the user is able to create one feature and define multiple sectors using the attributes with multiplicity. This gives a more accurate representation of the real-world features. S100 also allows for the cartographic placement of text, which gives users the ability to control the location of text, which attribute is to be displayed, and the minimum scale at which the text will display thus allowing experienced cartographers to alleviate some clutter that can be seen on an Ectus. Teledyne Keras has been heavily involved in the production of the S100 specification and was the first to release a commercial S100 vector app in 2015. Our deeply knowledgeable staff and wide-ranging experience allows us to provide both general consulting and complex system solutions. Contact us today for all of your S100 inquiries.